welcome back to my channel. If you are new here today, my name is Angelita and I like to unbox plants. Today I will be unboxing a baby philodendron varicosum and I am super excited. The picture that I saw had a baby growth growing so I have good luck with plants, you know, unfurling a leaf while they are in transit to me. So I I'm kind of excited to see what it's gonna look like. It's taped really well. My scissors don't even wanna cut it. And I don't even got my kid's scissors today. So this came from <clears throat> Texas. And I'm in Washington, Eastern Washington. And I'm super excited to see this. I don't remember if it was rooted or not i have a feeling that maybe i might have to root it it wasn't probably rooted but either way i am super excited i paid 75 dollars for this varicosum and they are very very expensive so i'm okay with throwing this one from a baby plus it didn't look like it appeared to have any damage on it and i like my plants to not have no damage I want to grow it from a baby and get it nice and huge. They actually don't get very huge. These ones don't, but they do like climb up poles in a way, or they can, I don't know if they necessarily trail, but they, I know that, that if you can get them to climb up a pole, they look very gorgeous, but they don't get as big as like the Gloriosums and the Palmanis, uh, the Pal Palmanis and Pastazasms. They don't get as big as that, but they are gorgeous, gorgeous plants if they are taken care of properly. All right, so that's, this is the way that it was packaged. It was head bubble wrap, and then it was in here. Ugh, I'm so scared right now. I've had such bad luck. I went on a little plant buying frenzy, and so far I haven't had the greatest luck, so we'll see what, what happens here. Oh, it's so gorgeous and it didn't unfurl just yet but this is the philodendron varicosum it's very soft it has a little bit of leaf damage um it's in the spag moss in here we'll go ahead and get it out of there because i'm not thinking that it's very happy in there it seems very soft and we want to get going whatever we're going to get going with this whether it needs to be rooted or potted or what let's find out together oh no i didn't lay down my little mat all right there we go yeah so it has very very tiny roots that was what the situation was it has really really small roots and i'm just trying to see make sure that they're even healthy roots there's one tiny healthy root and then the rest are just kind of there so and that one is just brown i think from being in spag moss it appears to be healthy let's hope so because i'm gonna keep it and then oh, goodness i don't know if i should water propagate or put this in leca so for now what we are going to do is just water propagate and and then i'm going to do a little bit of research and find out if i should put this beautiful guy in some leca or not these are not uh, plants that have like the petiole that you have to put above above the dirt. So that is nice. So we'll go ahead and get a cup and get this rooted in some water. Clear cup, but I do have this one here. So I'm just gonna pour some water in. And then I'm gonna try to set it in. Oh no, that's gonna be too much water. So this is water I use for plants anyway. So I'm gonna pour it back in there because we want it to be barely sitting in the water. We don't want it to be too much in the water. So you gotta watch these in the water levels. That's why I like LECA, because it's a lot easier for me, but I wanna make sure that these bad boys even like LECA. So I know it's a little bit hard to see because this is a more darker glass, but I just kinda have it barely over where the roots would grow. And I honestly, I want to pour a little bit more water out. There we go. Now I feel like that is perfect. Isn't that so gorgeous? That's the little growth point. And then it keeps kind of 
falling down. So yeah, I might just have to put this in Lekka because it doesn't want to stay too much out of the water. But it is gorgeous and I paid $75 for this plant in particular. I am very stoked to see it grow into a gorgeous plant. I've seen them be absolutely gorgeous on a moss pole and I hope to do an update one day and show you guys. They're very resilient. Um, they like to stay moist majority of the time so you want to keep them moist. Uh, but they are very resilient and very forgiving plants. They're prone to spider mites. The soil that you'd want to put this guy in once you get it rooted is going to be uh, more water retaining soil, so less perlite and bark and such. So you want to just just to make sure to keep it moist so you don't have to worry about doing, you know, too much watering or overwatering. Uh, what else did I find out about this? Uh, worm castings is the best way to fertilize this, which I already use worm castings, and then add a moss pole as soon as you start seeing some growth. Uh, what does it say? Oh, these are lower light tolerant, so you don't have to worry about having these in bright lights. So I'm definitely going to have this little guy in my room after I get him rooted and established a little bit more. And... If they start to droop, they're unhappy. And that's all I really know about the varicosum because like I said, this is gonna be my first little guy and I am so stoked. It's so beautiful. I hope that little wrinkle comes out and I hope it makes it honestly because it is very soft. I don't know, I'm not very familiar with this plant. I just know that the leaves are supposed to be thin. So hopefully we can get this guy to flatten out. And I honestly am satisfied with my purchase. I'd give it a 10 out of 10. I got this off the uh, Facebook uh, Plant Purge USA. So if you have not been a part of that group yet, you definitely should add yourself to that group now. Please like, share, subscribe, and thank you for watching my channel. Have a wonderful day.